Hey guys, Jobin here. I wanted to do a uh, really quick little video here that I've actually intended to do for ages but completely forgot about. And that's just showing inside and taking a quick look at the parts of the Enlon EL08. Because there's a few sort of interesting things in here. All the screws are in this bottle cap. So this knife is basically taken apart, it's being held together right now. Wind picks up and threatens to blow away my cloth. I have everything set on. This is uh, just after a hurricane. It kind of passed my area by. So we didn't lose power or anything, but still the day after, it seems really windy. Anyway, okay. Here's the knife, which you may or may, 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 or may have not. Meh. Words, how do they work? Okay, here's the G10 scale, and it's machined out for an inset partial steel liner. Rather interestingly, between the liner and the scale, there's this little plastic uh, film. I'm not really sure what that's for. And then you get to the liner itself. And there's the posts there for the handle. Oh, goes in like that. And stick these guys in so they don't get lost. Okay. And then we've got the blade, washer, and another washer below it. Uh, this is a fairly early production, EL08 at which point they came with metal washers on both sides. Uh, the newer ones seem to have switched over to the Enlon standard of uh, one metal washer and one large nylon one, which might bug some people, but it might actually be an improvement in the sense that the early ones tended to be kind of hard to open and the new ones seem a lot smoother. So upgrading to really high quality washers might be a good idea if you have the option to do that, but the newer ones are probably better out of the box with uh, nylon. Okay, got the blade here. Come on, exposure, show this. There. Camera's kind of freaking out with the uh, sun glinting off the bare steel. There's the engagement surface. Standard Enlon shouldered pivot pin and it uses these standard triangle head screws. This one's got the slot cut in it so I could get it off. Stop pin. Looks kind of small considering the uh, bulkiness of the knife, but it's it's not actually all that tiny. Like, uh, here's a Benchmade Adamus. And they're about the same size. Eh, seems pretty standard. Stop pin, hourglass shaped uh, standoffs, and then we get to the lock side. And here we go. Pocket clip goes here, and there's the lock face, detent. And a lock bar stabilizer, which is probably one of the first things you noticed, if you know what that is. Um, basically what this does is it keeps the lock bar from overextending that way. You, you can't push it too far out of engagement because it just stops. And you also can't push it that way because it gets stopped by that little thingy there. That's just a really simple arrangement. There's a screw and pretty much a really heavy duty little washer somewhat unusually all the handle screws on this take a T8 Torx bit which 
uh, most handle, handle and pocket clip screws are T6 and uh, most knife pivots are T8 if they have Torx pivots but on this one that screw and let's see if I can get one and the handle screws are all T8 I think the pocket clip screws might be, still be T6 can't remember yeah, pocket clip screws are T6. So there you go. That's uh, inside the knife. Some people like seeing these. So I thought I'd do one real quick for you folks. You have a good day. This is Jobin signing off saying, remember where your knife is.